Now this video is going to be about Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus lived in an alternate, a, an alternate lifestyle. So I'm just going to say one little thing. So people think of gay or being lesbian or being bi or trans is a lifestyle. It's not. You're born that way. So listen to what I have to say about Jesus. Okay? Thank you. Relationships of Jesus in the Gospels differ greatly from the contemporary so-called nuclear family. Jesus loved Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. What drew Jesus to this very non-traditional family group of a bachelor brother living with two spinster sisters, two barren women, and in a unique or Jesus' adult family of choice. Are we to assume that they were all collaborate heterosexuals? What if Mary and Martha were not sisters, but called each other sisters, as did most lesbian couples throughout recorded history? John's Gospel refers no less than eight times to the one whom Jesus loved, also called the beloved disciple, scholars will only explore that fact that Jesus obviously had a particular close friendship with one man. Whether or not Jesus was gay, homophobia was has silenced exploration of this relationship. So who knows? Jesus himself could have been gay. Who knows? The Bible, in fact, knows almost nothing of the post-Reformation idea of monogamous, lifetime romantic heterosexual marriage. The Bible portrays marriage in terms of poverty and business transactions, polygamy, extended family, tribal groupings, life rate marriage, and other lifestyles, the anti-marriage bias in the New Testament and sex negative emphasis of early theologians is well known by historians and students of human sexuality. Hmm, interesting, you know? The new Christian community in Acts includes ch childless widows, former prostitutes, prostitutes, social outcasts, celebrates married people, it knocks blacks, Jews, and Gentiles. Those previously excluded were not now fulfilling the promise of Isaiah 56. My house will be called a house of prayer for all the people. All the people, not just straight people. The LGBTQ community. So there. Take that, religious freaks. I hope you enjoyed that video. Bye now.